हेलो फ्रेंड्स मल्टीप्लीकेशन इज ए वेरी एसेंशियल प्रोसेस टू डूइंग एनी मैथमेटिकल कैलकुलेशन सो नाउ इट इज मोस्ट इम्पोर्टेंट हाउ वी शुड डू द मल्टीप्लीकेशन एक्यूरेटली एंड क्विकली सो देर आर सो मेनी मेथड्स सो फार दे आर इन दी एंटर वर्ल्ड multiplication by different methods so these are the methods i have write down by method of addition by conventional method by vedic mathematics method by mayan method by egyptian method by roman method by oral method by algebraic method by method of abacus using abacus instrument so these are some methods of multiplications so far we know now we shall discuss one by one that is by method of addition suppose i want to do multiplication 6 into 7 6 into 7 then what we do here 6 into 7 mean 6 is 7 times or 7 is 6 times so this is by method of addition repetitive addition multiplications is the process of repeated additions 6 six, 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 6 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so If we add six seven times, then we got it. Okay. Or we may do it seven plus seven plus seven plus seven plus seven plus seven. We add seven six times. Seven plus seven fourteen plus seven twenty one plus seven twenty eight plus seven thirty five plus seven forty two. So. This is the method of addition, and we do it six into seven. We are again so we do it in the lower level. At the student at lower level, uh, we give this before going to the multiplications. We teach the student regarding the addition process, and later on we tell them that this addition process. is a multiplication one so repeated additions multiplication 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 it is a it is a repetition repetition of addition of same number Same number. So if you see six is multiplied by seven, so six will be added seven times. If seven is multiplied with six, so seven will be added six times. So this method is a usual method, and generally children are doing this method. So this is the method of addition. Method of addition by method of addition. We able to multiply the two digits, and it is a very good for single digit number. For when it will go to the double digit or triple digit, it is somewhat difficult and time consuming method. Now conventional method. What do you suppose we are doing twenty one into thirty two? Now I am going to the second part by conventional methods. What we are doing today in school level? We first do two into one. It is two. Two into two, it is four. Next, we go go to three. Three into one, we write it here. Three. Then three into two, it is six. Then we add it. This two comes here. There is nothing here. Four into plus three is seven here, and six into six. So six seven will be answer. This is the conventional method. What we are doing today. in our school level 
the, regarding the multiplications. So this method is conventionally used throughout the world by the different countries. This is the general method and it is based on the decimal system of numbers. Then by bathing method 32, same number I am telling, 32 into 21. By bathing method, by bathing method, now it is a quick method, it is a quick method which you are given by the ancient Indians in their calculations of mathematical sum. So what they do is, they do it, this four digit they do it, this is A, B, C, D, like this. 1 into 2, 1 into 2, we have B into D, it will be B into D first. B into D, this vertically, B into D will be multiplied. Then we have 2 into 1, will be. Then we multiply the number crosswise, that is 3 into 1, 3 into 1, 3, plus 2 into 2, it is 4. Here we have to A into D, A D plus B into C, B C. Then next, what we do here? Next it is A into C, A C. This is the method, A C. What we do is 3 into 2, it is 6. So this is 2, this is 4, 7, and this is 6. So I am sorry, 6, 7, 2. By the conventional method, Uddha Tirjat method, or cross multiplication method by bathing method. This is mostly used in the bathing. For any numbers, this is cross multiplication method. Cross multiplication method. Cross multiplication method. In Sanskrit, it is stated as Uddha Tirjat method. Uddha Tirjat method. Uddha Tirjat method. Vedic method, so many methods are there. But this is a, one of the method of multiplication and a quick one. By single line we can do multiplications of any digit number. It is a two digit number, two digit into two digits. We may do three digit into three digit, four digit into four digit, five digit into five digit, or three digit into two digit. 4 digit to 2 digit. So, what about the numbers? There is no problem uh, to do the quick calculations by bathing method. We shall do bathing methods, particularly in bathing methods. There will be so many tutorials who will be there in my videos. So, next is the Mayan methods. This is ancient methods. Mayan is a civilization. That was by it is a Mexican area, that is South American area. That is, they use this method that is 32 into 21. The Mayan method, the method is a vegesimal systems one based on the 20. So in Mayan method, they use the line to do model, line 32. What they do for 32, for 32. They write it 32. For 32, they first do it like this. 32. 1, 2, 3. Then put some gap here. Two. This is 32. This is 3. And this is 2. Now we have to multiply 21. So 21 have to do it like this. 2. Then separate in so now what you do? This part is one and this middle part is another one and this part is one. So this is two, this is one. Thirty-two. This is three, this is two, and this is two, this one. Thirty-two into twenty-one. You see? I separate it. Now you may do it. One, two. This you can write it. This is crossing point. This is one crossing point and this is one crossing point of the straight lines. You see this is one and two. So this is two. Then mid also crossing point. 
वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन दीज आर सेवेन क्रॉसिंग पॉइंट ऑफ द स्ट्रेट लाइन सो यू हैव इट सेवन देन नेक्स्ट वी गो हियर वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स इट इज सिक्स एंड दी रिजल्ट इज सिक्स सेवन टू एंड दी रिजल्ट इज सिक्स सेवन टू सो इट इज अ वेरी यूजफुल मेथड फॉर दी चिल्ड्रेन वेन they don't know about the numbers so by using the lines using the lines they can add this type of two digit number they can add, 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 multiply single digits so what is six into seven so you write it six line one two three four five six this six now seven one two Three, four, five, six, seven. Now you count the crossing point for this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-twenty, thirty-twenty-one, thirty-twenty-two, thirty-twenty-three, thirty-twenty-four, thirty-twenty-five, thirty-twenty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two. So in such a way, so at lower level of the students when they don't know about the multiplications, we may explain this children at the lower level the multiplication of six into seven by drawing the lines and the crossing. We should count the crossing points. We should count the crossing points of the lines, and that will be give the multiplication result of the numbers. This is for the single digit number. And this is for the double digit to double digit number. So this is the Maya. Then you we shall discuss the Maya method separately in some tutorials. Now after Maya methods, you go to the Egyptian methods. Egyptian methods. What they do? We have to. This is thirty two into twenty one. We shall go this now Egyptian methods. We have discussed by method of addition. We have discussed by conventional method. We have discussed the Vedic methods, and we have discussed the Maya method. And now we are going to discuss the Egyptian methods. What you do? You take these are the one thirty two and one is twenty one. You take any the numbers whether it is thirty two or it is twenty one. So the larger number is better. To take, you take one represents thirty two. One represent thirty two. Then you just multiply. Two represent if one represent the thirty two. Then two represent you just twice of the thirty two. That is two times. It is sixty four. Thirty two plus thirty two is sixty four. Now again. You double it. This two, you can double it and three, four. Two times this four. And four represents sixty-four plus sixty-four, one twenty. Then again, two, twice of four it is eight. Eight represent it is one twenty. It is two fifty-six. Again, you double it. Sixteen. Sixteen represent. What is that? Five, one, two. Now we shall think twenty-one. We have to, we have to go for twenty-one. One represent thirty-two. So what is the twenty-one represent? That is our M to find out the multiplications. You see, we may take sixteen, we may take four, we may take one. Sixteen plus four plus one. It is twenty. It is. Then twenty one represents what is this? This is five one two. This is one two eight. This is thirty two. You add this three. You add this three. So this is two. This is eight. Eight plus two is ten. Ten plus two is twelve. Two. Take one here. Now this is three. 
this is 2 pi plus 1 6 and this plus 1 which is 7 then pi plus 1 6 there is no in the common class so pi plus 1 6 so 21 we present 672 so multiplication of 32 into 21 it gives 672 this is, is the method used by this ancient Egyptian to do the multiplication of the numbers in by doubling method. This is the doubling, this doubling method. Doubling of numbers. Doubling of numbers. This is the ancient Egyptian methods. So we get the result 672. Now what, what we do it by conventional method or Vedic method or Maya method, we are getting the same result by the Egyptian method. Now we shall go after Egyptian method, we shall go for the Roman method. Roman method, it's the same number we take, it is 32 into 21. 32 into 21. We may do now this Roman method. By Roman method, we shall do it. Roman, what they do? They write this. This is say we take it two. Now we in left one we take this smaller number that will be better. So twenty-one into thirty. We may take it thirty to twenty-one, but you take always less number to the left side and right side. So what you do in left side you divide it by two and you multiply it by two. So you divide it by 2, this side will be divided by 2, this side, and this side will be multiplied by 2, this side, left side will divide by 2, and it will be multiplied by 2. So if we, if we mm, divide 21 divided by 2, you got the result, what is the 10, and 1 is remainder, and what is the remainder, remainder is equal to 1. Remainder is equal to 1. You neglect that. You don't consider that in the remainder. So this is 21. So divide by 2 give the result 10 and the remainder is 1. You don't consider that one. Now you double this into 2, it is 64. Then again you divide. Divide by 2. So it will be 5. Again you multiply into 2, it is 128. Again divide by 2, it will get 2 and remainder is 1, don't consider and you do, it is 256 then divide by 2, it is 1 and this is 5, 1, 2 it is 5, 1, 2 so what is the next step? next step is, you just go through the even numbers even number 1 is 10 and another is 2 so this will not consider. This will not consider. This even number row should not be considered. Now what you do? You just add the rest numbers. That is one is 32, one is 128, one is 518. Just add this. This is 2, this is 8, 10 plus 2, 12, 2. So this is 1. Then 1 plus 2, 3 plus 3, 6, and this one, this 7. Then 5 plus 1, there is nothing. So 5 plus 1 is 6. six so this is the same result what we are getting by this, all this, whether by conventional method, by Vedic method, or Mayan method, by Egyptian method we get the same result in the Roman methods. So Roman, in Roman method is, they do this, one, one column will be divided by two, and the second column will be multiplied by two. Then they like cancel out the even number row, even on this side, left side even. They go through this, they observe it, and they go through the even number, here even number, we got the two row. This is 10 and this 2. We don't consider 
by adding this right side block, right side column. So we cancel this and we add 32, 128, and 512, and we get the result 672. Then after Roman method, now oral method. Oral methods by oral method by looking to the digits, we can do multiplication orally, orally, quickly, orally and quickly. What is that? You see, this is 32, this is 21. 32 means it is 30 plus 2. 21 means it is 20 plus 1. It is 20 plus 1. So this number represents for 30 and this represents for 2. This number represents for 20 and this is 1. So this is the 10 plus and this is the unique plus. So while you are early, you go from the left one, from left one you So when you do 3 into 2, 3 into 2 means 6, that is 30 into 20. This is 30 into 20. So 3 into 6. 3 into 2 is 6. And this is 0. This is 0. You do 16. First. This is first. 3 into 2. This row. This column. This column. 3 into 2 into 600. Then go for cross. 3 into 1. 3 into 1 means 30 into 1. 31 into 1 it is 30. 30 into 1 it is 30. Then go for the second. 2 into 2. This is 2 into 2 means this is 20 and this is 2. So 20 into 2 it is 40. Now last one. 2 into 1. So easily by orally you can do it. This will be now 2. 4 into 3. 4 plus 27 and this is 6. So that will be 6 over into 2. Without using the pen, pencil and paper, orally the student can do this type of multiplication, orally 32 into 21, so this is 3 into 2, 600, 3 into 1, 30, 600 plus 30 is 630, then 2, 20 into 2 is 40, 630 plus 40 is 670, then 2 into 1 it is 2, 670 plus 2 it is 672, so in this method of oral, the student will practice the multiplication, they do it quickly, very quickly they do. Then next one is the algebraic methods. So this oral method is, this is the oral method I have done, oral methods, I have done it. Then by algebraic method, what to do it? This 32, you take x is equal to 10, what we are doing today, x is equal to 10. So what is the 32? 32 will be 3x plus 2, 3x plus 2, then what is 21, what is 21, this is 2x plus 1, this is 2x plus, now algebra is also this, 3x plus 2 into 2x plus 1, we are doing it by algebra. This is 32 into 21. What are doing that? You see, same thing. 3x into 2x, it is 6x squared. Then 3x into 1, it is 3x. Then 2 into 2x, it is 4x. Then 2 into 1, it is 2. So 6x squared plus 3x plus 7, 7x plus 2. So it is 6. What is x? x is 10. So x squared is 100. So 6 into 100 plus 7 into x is 10. Then it is 2. Then it is 600 plus 70 plus 2 is equal to 672. It is 672. So this is the algebraic methods. It is the same thing. 672. So the last one will be by method of abacus. How to by method of abacus? If we merge the method of Betty and method of abacus, these two methods, Betty method and abacus method, then we get the excellent result. We will get the excellent result by these two 
met or you need help from Metha, if you use this bathing method in Avatar, then it will be beautiful result. So, by method of Avatars, what is that? We'll, this is 2 into 1, it is 2. This is 2 into 1, it is 2. Then this 1 into 3, it is 30 and it will 1, it is 30. Then what we have? This is 20 into 2. 20 into 2, it is 40. Then it is 20 into 30, it is 600. So this is the addition. By Abacus instrument, we may edit. This is 4 into 3, 7. This is 6. Uh, in the previous slide, we have discussed the addition process in Abacus instrument. This is 2, then we may do 30, then plus 40, then we do 600. So add this by Abacus instrument, you will get the result 6, 7, 2. So this is a short tutorial in, in, in the, the topic multiplication by default method. Then we have discussed the, the 9 methods. So there are other methods as also um, in mathematics we will discuss in the later on. But for today I think this much of methods is good for us and it will help us to calculate the multiplication quickly, efficiently and accurately when we are doing any mathematical work or any scientific work. Thank you.